it's Gabby. It's day 56. I'm wearing another dress I bought from um, from Shanti. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, and I woke up this morning. My neighbors went for a dolphin ride. So they woke me up a little too early, but it's all right. Um, helped me by quarter to seven. I was up. So it's actually another blessing. They're really encouraging my spirituality. They really are. Um, had a wonderful walk. I left the house, took probably at an hour-ish walk, um, but most of that time I spent meditating, which is something I've been avoiding a lot, um, so I was really grateful for that. I went up to Neptune Point. They have these bungalows that are gorgeous. I'm going to look into it. Maybe I can go for a night or two to spoil myself. It's like up on this cliff, and only thing around you are like boulders, see far below. I mean, it's just magnificent. So I think I might want to do that. Um, and I came home. Oh, so the meditation, I'm working now on the sacral um, chakra, which is here. Um, so I've already done... So when I was meditating, I did the root chakra, some exercises on helping me be grounded, stability, um, giving to the earth, taking from the earth, um, and then and then sacral, which is flu fluidity, um, fluid to new ideas, new concepts, that my body is fluid, that, I, that I'm able to move and be um, in carefree flow. Um, so I did those meditations. It feels really, really good. And then I came home and I cleaned my house. I know I swept everything and now I just poured tons of water on the floor. And I'm not really sure how to get rid of all this water. Um, so I paid a rent, I paid rent for a month, so now I just have to say I'm here, stop, you know, yes, no, yes, no, and, and, and not get too frustrated with them. Just say, okay, there's noise, and surround that noise with, with quiet, and surround that noise with light, and just and love it. And, uh, and remember that they have been a really big impetus for me on getting spiritual, that thanks to them and their noise, it's, it's really directed me toward... Um, a lot of quiet and as I say this they're arriving home and I hear the crying and the whining and the tender tantrum and I'm like okay that's each to his journey and mine is here and you know I was really looking forward to spending all day at home um, I wanted to spend the next two days at home and just um, you know doing a lot of uh, work that I that I'm saving just for the weekends and, and I will do that, and I don't have to be bitter about it. And if I want to go out and, and sort of experience nature in peace and quiet, I can do that. I have the energy. I'm not a, a prisoner of, of exhaustion anymore. And the rest of the days, I'll put in my headphones and enjoy that too. It's all part of my ability to choose, and it's the best spiritual lesson, because when I go home, I'm not going to have this quiet oasis of serenity and, you know, utmost quiet. I'm going to have a family life, and the challenge is in, when I'm in that family life, and there's noise, and there's distractions, and I'm keeping myself busy all the time, and avoiding the, doing the meditative work, and sometimes the stretching. I don't really have an excuse. What happens when I'm home and there's always laundry and dishes and someone to feed and distractions and kids talking? And, you know, here I'm creating my own distractions. So I think it's a great playground to sort of say, okay, well, you know, how, how can you bring your spirituality into a normally chaotic life? So I appreciate them. I think that they're making the transition much easier for me. <laughs> They are 